Neela Patel. This is all her fault. Hey, okay, Todd, I'm not saying what Jack did with her life. She got him to trust her. She turned on him. He has a possibility of going to prison for the rest of his life. Now, we got to do something. Oh, we will. We will. We'll get Jack out of jail, and then we'll go settle the score with this Neela Patel and whoever put her up to this. What do you mean? You think she could pull something like this off on her own? She was following orders from Rex Balsam. The little that I remember of Rex Balsam from before Irene got her paws on me was that he was always a little shifty, you know, like he was having a seizure. Oh, Rex is a lot of things, including Clint Buchanan's son. That's supposed to scare me? What's that homebound lump gonna do? Okay, do we really want to make things worse between the two families? Do we? Maybe we should just concentrate on helping Jack. Well, maybe we can do both. Firstly, we go after this Neela girl. We attack her credibility. We provide a link between her and Rex. Her and Rex's drippy okay, little just kid. slow it down there, okay? Even if we could do that, it doesn't change the fact that Jack admitted on tape that he caused Gigi's death. Now, come on, we can go after Jack's enemies, yeah, sure. But don't you think it would be better if we did really concentrate on helping him here? Maybe helping Taya build a case for his defense? Because she's the only one that's going to be able to help that boy. What makes you so sure about that? Excuse me. Since when is Taya not your go-to gal for legal rescue, huh? She's been a little off her game lately. Oh, really? Maybe that's because her brother murdered her husband. Yeah, exactly. She's distracted. And frankly, she's been downright hostile to me lately. She's angry, Todd. Tomas is not around for her to tear into him, so unfortunately, that honor just falls right on you. Jack's entire future is at stake. Nora's not going to pull any punches. Do you really want your son's freedom in the hands of, a, of an attorney whose personal life is a complete shambles? Yeah, because she loves Jack, and Taya will pull her life together for his sake. I don't get it. What? Well, what happened with the two of you when I was away? It's like you're all, can we braid each other's hair and stuff? It's totally disturbing. We grew up. You should try it. I'm not going to grow up. You're not a grown up either. This is not the reason, is it? Okay, after everything Tay and I have been through the past couple of years, we have learned to trust each other, to be there for each other, and, you know, it would be nice if you could actually be there for Taya, too. I'm trying. Why don't you try a little harder, okay? I'm gonna go check on Sam. Since when is Taya not your go-to gal for legal rescue, huh? She's been a little off her game lately. Maybe that's because her brother murdered her husband. No, you know, the last time I saw Taya, she seemed to. Well, she's very upset. It's Tomas called. What are you doing? Get away from me. Like you give a damn about me or Victor's baby. It is hard that someone I felt very close to, someone I trusted, someone I defended, someone I stood by, that someone like that could do this to me. That someone I once loved could kill my husband. Dad knows I killed Victor. Victor. How'd you figure it out? She didn't hear from Tomas. Baker's got eyes on him 24-7. And she's been busy lately. She's been pregnant. She's been hanging out with John. John McBain. Why would I think you don't care? Um. Hey, hey, hey. I'm the doctor said about stress. Not good for the baby. John suspects me. Or he's been talking to Louie. John told Taya. Now Taya knows this can't happen. Not now, not now. I am so close. God. Yeah. You okay? I'm fine. I think Dorian's gonna be pissed, though. Put it on my tab. What has got you so upset? It's Jack. I just don't want to lose him. I can't lose him, not, not, not again. I'll get it. Listen. Technically, it was never mine to lose, I guess. Jack is gonna be fine, okay? Listen to me. Jack's He's not going okay. to be okay. He's not. All right, he, he was not okay long before I came back. We need to face the facts. Victor did a number on him. There's a chance he's beyond repair. 
No, hey, don't say that about our son, okay? Because Jack is not a lost cause. And if you believe that, you might as well get the hell out of our lives. Jack needs a father that believes in him, Todd. I mean, no father at all would be better than one that doesn't have his back 100%. Sorry. All right. And you're right. I know. And I have Jack's back. Oh. I do. I just... My own son can't stand me. I don't know what to do to change that. You are doing it. You are here, Todd. You're waiting him out. You're taking everything he throws at you and coming back for more. And eventually, he'll see you for the man that you are. Who do you think that is? Father. He loves his son. It's not going to be easy. And this is going to take a long, long time. You stand beside Jack, okay? And I will stand beside you. Thank you for talking some sense into me. Usually that's Vicky's job. Why should Vicky have all that bond? Hmm. Right. First things first, we, we focus on getting Jack out of this big mess he's made. Okay. I'll get Taya on the horn. Yeah, get her on the horn and fire her. Fire her? Yeah, I don't trust her. Fire me? So I'm fired now? Is that, is that it? No, Taya, absolutely not. That is just it's Todd being Todd. Oh, yeah. You know. <laughs> no. Yeah, I do. He's so good at that recently. Yeah. So what's going on? Did you get the charges dropped or what? Um, in a matter of speaking, uh, Gigi Morasco is alive. What? It's it's complicated, but the upshot is that Jack is not being charged with her murder. Oh my God, Jack, that is so wonderful. What's the catch? Um, he's still being charged with unlawful imprisonment. I got him arraigned before court ended and posted his bail. He's free for now. And he's not a murderer. Makes one of you. <laughs>